the spike in shootings is playing out on America's streets and highways and more than ever. A new report found that 44 people per month were shot and killed or wounded in road rage shootings in 2021. Angela Brown explains. A deadly road rage encounter Christmas Eve 2021. Professional boxer Danny Kelly Jr. shot and killed in front of his girlfriend and their three kids in Maryland. Police believe Kelly was shot because he asked another driver to slow down. This murder was a senseless act, another tragic incident of gun violence, and another family fracture. Kelly's murder, one of 728 road rage encounters involving a gun in 2021, according to Everytown for Gun Safety, with over 500 shootings where someone was either injured or killed. The worst year on record for road rage shootings. We interviewed Everytown's director of research tracking the data. States with stronger gun laws, safety laws, uh, have, have less incidents of all of this. Road rage, you know, with a gun and, and other shootings as well. Everytown says road rage cases are up across the country, but New Mexico, Texas, Arizona, Wisconsin, and Tennessee are having the highest rates of people shot in road rage incidents in 2021. There have been a couple of studies done to show that when you have a gun in your car, you are more likely to act rudely and aggressively. Counselors say Americans are on edge, pushed to the brink by the pandemic. War in Ukraine, rising prices of rent, gas, and food. We go to the grocery store and we see, you know, wow, I'm spending $20 more a week on groceries. And all of that just, I think, builds and builds and builds. And it puts us into that reactionary stage. It takes only seconds to snap but only seconds to calm down before reacting. So if you can do nothing but before you react, just say I'm going to take three deep breaths and then I'm going to react. Aggressive driving is extremely common. AAA found nearly 80% of drivers express significant anger, aggression, or road rage behind the wheel at least once in the last 30 days. In Washington, D.C., I'm Angela Brown.